has been rescued. The Bay Area Institute SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, can once again listen for sounds in space. KTV's Robert Honda live in Mountain View to tell us what saved SETI. Robert. Well, Heather, there are a lot of grateful Earthlings here at SETI today because their search toward the skies can resume, at least for now. This is sound captured from outer space as part of an exhibit at San Jose's Tech Museum. Somewhere in the static, scientists hope to find a radio signal or any sign of extraterrestrial life. It just gives you the sense of that you're going to find something. But since April, the line has been disconnected. The Allen Telescope Array of 42 dish antennas set up near Mount Shasta by SETI and UC Berkeley has been in hibernation since state funding dried up. Today, the SETI Institute is celebrating after a public fundraising campaign generated more than $200,000, including a donation from actress Jodie Foster, who starred in the movie Contact, about the SETI search. The money means the antennas can be turned on again. We have the capability, at least, of finding proof that there's life out there, even clever life out there. And what a shame it would be not to at least try. The Allen Telescope Array will be back on, but for how long? SETI acknowledges it costs about one and a half million dollars a year, and even though the Air Force pays to use the array to track satellites, UC Berkeley is dropping out as a partner because of its own budget problems. Still, SETI says it hopes the importance of space exploration will bring long-term funding to find that what's happened here on Earth has happened many places. If we were to discover that, that would change everything forever. That's a very important thing to know. Most youngsters we talked to agreed, though some were skeptical. I don't think that there's any life out there. There might be a bit, but in like, I don't think there's any, there might have been, but I don't think there's any now. Would you like to keep searching for it? Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> That's all said he wants. The search will now resume starting as early as next month. Live in Mountain View, Robert Honda, KTVU, Channel 2 News.